The Commonwealth Games, or as they are often referred to as the Friendly Games, are a multi-sport event that takes place every four years involving countries from the Commonwealth nations. But did you know that the games have a long and storied history right here in Canada? The forerunner for the Commonwealth Games were called the Inter-Empire Championships, and they were held in London, England, way back in 1911. Okay, so why were the games held? Well, they were part of the Festival of the Empire, which was basically a huge party to celebrate the coronation of King George V. The event saw teams from Canada, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom all gather in London to compete as part of the festivities. But the very first Commonwealth Games were actually hosted in Hamilton, Ontario in 1930. Now back then they were actually called the British Empire Games, and it was a Canadian by the name of Melville Marks Robinson, better known as Bobby, who was instrumental in organizing the very first one. Now Robinson was a reporter for the Hamilton Spectator, and he was at the 1928 Olympic Games in Amsterdam. And while he was there, he presented a proposal for the first British Empire Games to be hosted in 1930, way back home in Canada. Now, his hard work eventually paid off, and in August of 1930, 400 athletes from 11 different countries descended upon Hamilton to compete in the first ever British Empire Games. Now, the Games would stop in London in 1934, and Sydney in 1938, and New Zealand in 1950. And after going on hiatus during the Second World War, they would return to Canada in 1954 with Vancouver, BC playing host. Now, these games would be best known for the Miracle Mile, which saw Roger Bannister of England and John Landy of Australia run a mile in under four minutes. Right? The first time the four minute mile was broken by two men in the same race. Now the 1954 games were significant for another reason as well. It was the first time the Duke of Edinburgh attended the games, beginning a long-standing relationship between Prince Philip and this event. He became the president of the Commonwealth Games just a year later. Now, the next time Canada would host the games would be in 1978 in Edmonton, Alberta, and it was another royal moment that stole the show. Edmonton would be the first games that were formally opened by Her Majesty, the Queen herself. Mark Canada's best ever finish at the Commonwealth Games as well as they finished atop the medal table with 45 golds and 109 medals in total. However, their highest ever single medal count came in 1994 when the games were hosted in Victoria, BC. They finished with a total of 129 medals, which was good enough for second in the overall medal count. Now the games in Victoria were significant for another reason as well. It marked the return of South Africa to the Commonwealth Games after the country's apartheid era. They last competed in the 1958 Games before they withdrew from the Commonwealth in 1961. Now Canada has played a significant role in the creation and development of the Commonwealth Games. Heading into Birmingham in 2022, Canada has hosted the Games a total of four times, has seen numerous historic moments, and won a total of 1,555 medals, good enough for third all time. And this whole story may come full circle with the 100 year anniversary on the horizon of the first ever British Empire Games, the city of Hamilton is hoping to once again play host to the historic event in 2030. Organizers are looking to continue that legacy of the first ever games and continue the connection between this global event and Canada.